Hyper 1 for some more Spyro 2 with those rage for the Switch. And I just realized, but we are halfway done with this game in terms of levels played in that. And, um, yeah, without further ado, oh, hey there, Sparks. That was kind of cute. I'm not going to lie about that. But, yeah, unlike the last video, this video I'm going to be playing a level that I'm, I quite enjoy. And you can see it's pretty much leaving me speechless right now for some weird reason. I, I have not been able to talk right for the past week, week and a half, so please bear with me if I stutter, stumble, and mumble my way through the next couple episodes until I get my um, English back in order. But anyway, we are entering Scorch. By the way, hopefully you guys are having a good day today. Keep on forgetting to ask you guys that. I feel bad. But yeah, I actually like this level. This is probably one of my favorite levels in Autumn Plains. Not gonna lie, that was a little bit disturbing, but we'll talk. We'll talk to this girl here in a minute. Let me just get the treasure here real quick. And before I forget, here at Scorch, of course, we got the four hundred gems, but we have two orbs and a talisman. So not quite the heavy lo workload that we had in the last round again. Uh, uh, whenever we were in Zephyr, and hopefully this won't take nearly as long as what Zephyr did, though. It's interesting that the game has Zephyr listed before Breeze Herber. I always do Breeze Herber before uh, Zephyr. Because I really don't want to pay money bags. That's probably a good reason why, but... Okay, let's talk to her. Hello, Spyro. My brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow at this castle, but Handel got caught by these evil soldiers, and I'm stuck out here. Handel and Greta. I just love that. If you can open the doors that block the way, I can find Handel, and we can complete our super secret spy mission. Kinda young to be a spy, aren't you? Ooh, two for the price of one. That's always nice. And then we get these camels here. Let's see if it does it. Okay, we get this camel here, which had its head in solid ground for reasons. I don't quite understand how the physics of that work, but... Yeah, that's just weird. Okay. Oh! Wow! I, I did not anticipate how fast that came out. And our fodder for this level are snakes. Don't let them intimidate you, they won't hurt you. Well, I, I could have swore I muted my phone. Sorry about that. I, I'll, it, it, I'm, it's gonna be about 15 or 20 years in my channel, and I'm still gonna forget to mute my phone whenever I record. I am so sorry about that, everyone. Oh, that's frustrating. Why can't I ever remember to mute my phone? Okay, we just hit the switch right here. We raise the flag. The flags become more important later. You'll find out here in a bit. But like I said before, hopefully this level won't take all that long compared to... What Zephyr did. Okay, nice. And that's such an awkward pose that those uh, swordsmen have. Did you did you notice that? Yeah, the enemies here are quite weird and quirky. That's another reason why I like this stage. You get the camels that put their head through solid ground, and you get these swordsmen that have the most awkward looking stance. When it comes to... It kind of reminds me of that episode of Avatar Last Airbender in Book 2. It's uh, the book's uh, 
Tales of Bar Sing Se, and the one where Iroh was, uh, he got confronted by that guy that tried to rob him at knife point, and then Iroh just looks at me like, with that stance? That's what that kind of reminds me of a little bit. And yes, I do have Avatar on my, uh, Last Airbender on my mind, especially a lot lately. Especially since, um, I don't know what the reason is for exactly. I know they talk about doing a live action adaptation of it, which I'm dead set against, especially with how bad the movie went. But it just seems like a lot of people are talking about the Avatar Last Airbender lately, and I just had that in my mind. You'll probably see Hunter over there. We'll deal with him later. And you probably see up there, he has one of the orbs for us. Okay, we get this destructible chest right here. Which, we will find something later on in order to get and break open that chest. As nice as this level looked in the original, I think I like the look of it in, the, in this uh, Reignited Trilogy better. If I ever get the means to record PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, I, I definitely do want to play the original versions of these games. Of co because, of course, those are the ones that, that I grew up on and the ones I'm most familiar with. Didn't get me that time, did you? Whoa! How did, how did that not count? Oh, if I would've got hit there, I would've been pissed. Yeah. Playtime's over. Oh, by the way, I should, I should mention that I should be able to 100% this stage. I forgot to mention that, but there should be no reason why I shouldn't. So it means by the end of the day, I should have... I should have 2,600 gems and 33 orbs. Oh, I love when I do that. Oh, the... Butterfly. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Oh! Very nearly did not make that in time. Is that the last gunman? These swordsmen also kind of put me in mind of Grimace from, uh, uh, McDonald's. Let me get this little passage right here, which... Let me finish going up here first before I worry about taking the whirlwind. Actually, I don't even think I need to take the whirlwind. Come to think of it. Oh, I'm so glad he did not shoot at me. Because honestly, that would not have been fair in my honest opinion. Okay, we're at 43 lives now. Okay, we... Oh. Okay, I think this is the third flag that we've raised. And I think there are only three flags. Like I said, the flags will be important later, which... Sorry about that, I thought there was something crawling on me. It always feels... That's another thing, like, lately, it always feels like there's something crawling me. I'm, I hope I'm not getting that Morgellons Mor disease or whatever it's called. You know, that, 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 um... I'm not sure if you guys know what I'm talking about, um... Uh, Joni Mitchell, who's a famous singer, she has that condition, and it just feels like there's, like, almost, like, fibers or, like, insects and that, like, crawling underneath her skin. I kind of have a little bit like that, though. It's not, it's, it's not real, it's not real bad or anything. I mean, 
I know I'm making it sound it out to be a lot worse than what it is, but I do get occasionally where it, uh, it feels like I have a whole bunch of stuff crawling on me. And here's my favorite part of the level right here. Hopefully this works out. Look at that! Sparks liked it. And you can see here, I'm overlooking the beginning of the stage. So this is one of those stages where that makes a perfect circle, which... I don't know, I always like that in Spyro games. That To me, that's good level design. So in case you need to backtrack, you really don't have to go all that far because everything's in a circle. I didn't realize how many sm uh, yeah, snakes, yeah. Good English, Teddy. I didn't realize how many snakes were in this. That is such an awkward stance, but that's the word. I will never get over that. Okay, where am I at? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. How did I how did you miss me? I'm lucking out here. I'm, how am I not taking damage? I am lucking out. But anyway, collect some more gems. You can see there's a uh, super flame power up right there. And you see Handle right over there, but we're, that? we're not really going to talk to Handle right away. We're going to talk to his sister first. Or should I say his sister? I, I shouldn't say that. You know, I actually grew up with a speech impediment. I'm not sure if you guys... You guys can probably tell by the way I say certain words, but... Yeah, I actually had a real bad speech impediment uh, when I was real little, and that's due to me having uh, heavy scar tissue on both my eardrums that I can't really make my words like I want to, so I really shouldn't pick on people. Well, it's not like I was really making fun of them, but, you know, I really shouldn't try to imitate, like, especially, like, little kids. That's not really good. Okay, we only need 42 more gems. Now let's talk to Greta again. Spyro, you make a great secret agent. Now Handel and I can complete our mission. By the way, you can have this talisman. I stole it when the soldiers went looking. How brave of you. Oh, I hate look she she looks like she's proud of herself too. I like that. That's adorable. Greta, you're alright. I like you. And there's one thing, you know, I thought about that too, and like, you ever get where people are like, oh, I can't stand kids? I'm like, how? You used to be a kid. I can't stand when people say that, like, oh, you know, I don't like kids. I'm like, why? I mean, you were a kid once. Imagine if you were a kid again and you got up to, went up to an adult and said, you know, I can't stand kids. But it would make you feel bad, wouldn't it? But yeah, just a thought. And you're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to hold off of Handle here to, uh, again for a short bit because you guys probably figured that Handle ha is the o the owner of the second orb in this level, but we're going to be going to the first orb, which really shouldn't be all that bad. Watch I'll say that and then it's going to end up being like a headache for me, but hopefully that will not be the case. Hopefully I'll get through it without any, without too many difficulties. Okay, I will say it may take a few tries. How about that? Just to cover my booty. Yeah, I'm gonna say this may take a few tries. And if it doesn't, then cool. If it does, then hey, that's cool too. But anyway, 
The monkeys have escaped from the Avalar Zoo, and I've been sent here to catch them. But they keep throwing coconuts at me, and it hurts. Can you help me out? Well, sucks to be you. I know, I'll, I'll be nice. Great! Just charge the tree before I get hit. I'll be able to catch the monkeys as they fall. Follow me! Are you sure about that? Yeah, they gave this as a st rating of 2 out of 5 stars, and... I actually think that's a fair rating. I don't think it's too difficult, but I don't think it's too easy, either. Oh, okay, where are you going? Okay. Where are you going? Okay, you're going to this one. Okay. And I noticed here, you can actually cheese this. You can keep on hitting the tree until the monkey... If you keep knocking the monkey out of the tree, he will not have a chance to hit Hunter. Okay, Hunter is going to this one. Okay, I almost screwed that up. Oh! Yes, they will cause damage to you. I forgot to mention that. There we go. Thanks for your help, Spyro. Please take this. One of the monkeys had it. Okay, you were able to get the orb from the monkey, but you weren't able to get the monkeys. Sounds about right. Were those monkeys or apes? Um, I don't know. Do they have a tail? If they have a tail, they're monkeys. If they're, if they're not, they're apes. They don't look like they have tails, so they're apes. Okay, now that's out of the way, we can talk to Handle. Now, the, getting the second orb is a bit more difficult, but after a few tries, it really shouldn't be all that bad. And the second orb involves the, the flags. Wait a minute. I still need 30 gems. Okay, what do you have for me? Hey Spyro, we need those flags to prove our secret mission was successful. But the flag keeper keeps stealing them. If you can knock the flag keeper down, you could bring the flags back. My secret decoder ring says that this power-up thing should help you. Shoot the flag keeper off of the flagpole. Return the handle with the flags. Now, they gave this as a rating of 5 out of 5, but... There is a bit of a secret to this and a little bit of a tip that I'll show you guys. Sometimes it's successful and sometimes it isn't. And you do kind of have to move here because... We really don't get a lot of time to do, uh, mess around with the flag keeper. That flag, eh, dragon? Well, two can play at this bombing game. Let's go. Avoid the flag keeper's bombs. We turn the flag to handle. Hey, now the object here is if you can try to go in a uh, oh, and don't go heavy yourself. You What I usually do, especially later on, is look for, um... You can either be patient like I'm trying to do right now, or you can get- or run into zigzag pattern. Yeah, this time I'm just gonna be patient.
Okay, there we go. And we have to get him two more times. Great, but there are still two flags out there. There sure are. Okay, let's do this the normal way this time. And you do have to move here because, like I said, you really don't have a whole lot of time to dilly dally. Yep. Oh. Now, in the original version, I can just move in a zigzag pattern, and it won't be that uh, it won't be that bad for me. But in the reignited trilogy, it's a bit more tricky. Don't mind if I don't say anything here. Okay. Okay, that second, the second flag was first try hype. Okay, before I get the last flag, I do want to get that chest because... Oh. That is kind of like an OCD of mine. Hopefully it will relinquish the rest of the um, treasure. And as long as you're quick, you should be able to reach the final flag. Okay, 400 gems collected. And then once we get this last flag, that should be level complete. Have I really been recording this for over 20 minutes? It really does not seem like it. But luckily it shouldn't be too much longer because all I gotta do is get this last flag and I'm done with the stage. Yeah, I can't have any bonks. Oh. Shoot. Okay, nice. Okay, this one is, the uh, 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 needless to say, is going to be the toughest of the three flags to get. My last flag so easily, purple beast. That's what I just said, but in other words. Oh! And yes, if the, if the flags do explode, I mean, if the bombs do explode, then you're pretty much toast. Because... Whoa! Okay, I'm so close. I am so close. Whoa! Come on, don't... Please do not screw this up. I'm so close. I am so close. Oh! oh. I was gonna say, that hit me while I, he, he was right there at the end. I was not gonna be happy. Great job, Agent Spyro. How can we repay you for your efforts? How about this ore that I found in the sand? That's a good reward. Handle your square with the house again. Have you seen my sister, Greta? She's ugly, with pigtails. <coughs> Ok, 
you. Let's find your sister. Oh. I thought she said something. I know in the original she says something similar to what he said, but apparently not in the Sweet Trilogy. But yeah, we are done here. So they're firebenders. Again, Avatar Last Airbender reference. Now, I must say that the original version of that end cutscene is a bit creepier <laughs> with those kids. I'm not gonna lie. If you get a chance to see it, hopefully I'll get a chance to play the original, but... Yeah, if I do, if I do play the uh, PS1 version, I'll show you just how creepy they are in that. But yeah, I think we're progressing well on this. We 100%ed the last three stages. However, I will say that that streak will come to the end uh, to an end as we're not get, we're not that far away from the next level, which is Fracture Hills. And this one, we will not be 100%ing right off the bat. We're gonna have to come back to this one at a later time, but in the next video, or we'll at least get to check it out. So, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.